For centuries, the nature of consciousness has remained one of the most profound mysteries of the universe. Is it simply a product of our brains, a complex symphony of neurons firing in the darkness? Or could it be something more, a fundamental force woven into the very fabric of reality? Imagine a universe where consciousness isn't confined to our skulls, but permeates the cosmos, shaping the destiny of stars and galaxies. What if our thoughts, our dreams, our very awareness ripple outward, influencing the universe in ways we're only beginning to grasp? We're about to embark on a journey to explore these mind-bending possibilities, delving into the intersection of science, consciousness, and the cosmos. Buckle up, folks, because things are about to get really interesting. Let's start our exploration by venturing into the realm of quantum mechanics, where the very nature of reality becomes blurry and strange. Here, particles exist in a superposition of states, defying our everyday intuition. Now imagine if our consciousness, our subjective experience of the world arises from these same bizarre quantum processes. This is the central tenet of quantum consciousness theories, like the one proposed by physicist Sir Roger Penrose. Penrose suggests that consciousness stems from quantum computations occurring within microtubules, tiny structures found within our brain cells. These computations, he argues, tap into the fundamental level of reality, connecting our minds to the quantum realm. Now, if consciousness operates at the quantum level, it challenges our traditional understanding of cause and effect. It suggests that consciousness isn't just a passive observer, but an active participant in shaping reality. Our thoughts, our intentions could influence the behavior of particles, impacting the world around us in subtle yet profound ways. It's a mind-boggling proposition, but one that some physicists believe holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of both the mind and the universe. One of the most mind-bending aspects of quantum mechanics is the phenomenon of non-locality, exemplified by quantum entanglement. Imagine two particles, separated by vast distances, yet intrinsically linked. When you measure the state of one particle, the other instantly knows, collapsing into a corresponding state. It's as if these particles are communicating faster than the speed of light, defying our classical understanding of space and time. Now what if consciousness operates through a similar principle of non-locality? What if our minds aren't confined to our individual brains but are part of a larger interconnected web of consciousness? This idea resonates with ancient spiritual traditions and finds intriguing support in modern physics. If true, it suggests that we are all interconnected, our thoughts and experiences interwoven in ways we can barely comprehend. It opens up the possibility of telepathy, collective consciousness, and a deeper understanding of our interconnectedness as human beings. Let's take a giant leap and explore the concept of panpsychism, the idea that consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe, present in all matter, from the smallest subatomic particles to the grandest galaxies. Now, before you dismiss this as philosophical woo-woo, consider this. If consciousness arises from physical processes, as most scientists believe, then wouldn't it make sense that consciousness, in some form, would be present wherever those physical processes occur? Panpsychism suggests that consciousness isn't something that magically appears at a certain level of complexity, but is rather an intrinsic aspect of reality itself. If true, it paints a picture of a universe teeming with sentience, where even rocks and stars possess a rudimentary form of awareness. This idea challenges our anthropocentric view of the cosmos, suggesting that we are not alone in our capacity for experience. Instead, we are part of a vast cosmic orchestra, each element contributing to a symphony of consciousness that resonates throughout the universe. The Observer Effect Does Consciousness Shape Reality? One of the most perplexing aspects of quantum mechanics is the observer effect. It suggests that the act of observation, of becoming aware of something, can influence the state of a quantum system. In other words, our consciousness might play a role in shaping the very fabric of reality. Think about the famous double slit experiment. When we don't observe which slit an electron passes through, it acts like a wave, passing through both slits simultaneously. But when we observe it, the electron chooses a single slit, behaving like a particle. It's as if our observation forces the electron to collapse from a wave function into a definite state. Now this raises profound questions about the nature of consciousness and its role in the universe. If consciousness can influence the behavior of particles, 
What other effects might it have on the cosmos? Could our collective consciousness be influencing the evolution of the universe itself? These are tantalizing questions that push the boundaries of our scientific understanding. Neuroscience and Consciousness Decoding the Brain's Secrets While quantum physics offers tantalizing clues about consciousness, neuroscience provides a more grounded perspective. We know that consciousness arises from the intricate network of neurons in our brains. But how does this biological symphony give rise to our subjective experience of the world? Neuroscientists are making incredible strides in mapping the brain, identifying regions associated with specific cognitive functions. We're beginning to understand how different parts of the brain communicate and how neural networks give rise to our thoughts, emotions, and perceptions. But even with these advances, the so-called hard problem of consciousness remains. How does physical matter, no matter how complexly arranged, give rise to the subjective feeling of experience? Some scientists believe that by understanding the neural correlates of consciousness, we'll eventually crack the code and explain how the brain produces the mind. Others argue that consciousness may be an emergent property, arising from the complex interactions of neurons but not reducible to those interactions. Regardless of which camp you fall into, one thing is clear. Unraveling the mysteries of the brain is essential to understanding the nature of consciousness. Entropic Forces – Consciousness as a Force of Order The second law of thermodynamics, often described as the arrow of time, dictates that the universe tends towards disorder, towards entropy. Yet amidst this cosmic drift towards chaos, we see astounding order and complexity. Life emerges, stars ignite, and galaxies spiral through the vastness of space. Could consciousness be the countervailing force to entropy, driving the universe towards greater organization and complexity? Some theorists propose that consciousness, as an inherent property of the universe, acts as an organizing principle. It guides the evolution of complex systems, from the formation of galaxies to the emergence of life and intelligence. This idea suggests that consciousness isn't just a passive passenger in the universe, but an active participant in its unfolding story. It's a force that pushes back against the tide of entropy, shaping the cosmos into ever more intricate and wondrous forms. Global Workspace Theory – The Cosmic Mind Imagine consciousness as a vast cosmic stage, a global workspace where information from across the universe converges and is integrated into a unified experience. This is the essence of the global workspace theory, which proposes that consciousness acts as a central hub, binding together disparate pieces of information into a coherent whole. Now, if consciousness operates on a cosmic scale, as this theory suggests, it could have profound implications for our understanding of reality. It could mean that our individual minds are not isolated entities but rather interconnected nodes within a vast network of consciousness. This cosmic network could facilitate the flow of information and ideas across vast distances, influencing the evolution of cultures, the advancement of knowledge, and the interconnectedness of all beings. It's a mind-expanding concept that challenges us to rethink the boundaries of our own awareness. Have you ever experienced a moment of collective effervescence, a feeling of unity and shared purpose within a group? Think about sporting events, religious gatherings, or even just a group of friends laughing together. These moments hint at the possibility of a collective consciousness, a shared awareness that transcends individual minds. If consciousness is indeed a cosmic force, it stands to reason that our individual consciousnesses can combine and interact, creating a collective field of awareness. This collective consciousness could influence the course of human events, shaping cultural trends, political movements, and even the evolution of our species. It suggests that our thoughts, intentions, and actions have a ripple effect, contributing to a collective tapestry of consciousness that shapes our shared reality. From ancient traditions of energy healing to modern research into psychokinesis, the idea that our minds can influence matter has captivated humanity for centuries. While often relegated to the realm of pseudoscience, there's growing evidence to suggest that mind-matter interactions might be real. Studies have shown that focused intention can influence the outcome of random event generators, affect the growth of plants, and even heal physical ailments. While the mechanisms behind these effects remain mysterious, they suggest that our consciousness might not be limited to the confines of our skulls. 
If our thoughts can influence the physical world, it lends credence to the idea that consciousness is a force that extends beyond the brain, interacting with the universe in subtle yet profound ways. Let's zoom out to the grandest scale imaginable, the universe itself. Could consciousness play a role in the universe's evolutionary journey? Some cosmological models propose that the universe is not merely a random collection of particles and forces, but a self-organizing system that evolves towards greater complexity and consciousness. In this view, the emergence of life and consciousness are not mere accidents, but rather integral aspects of the universe's unfolding story. As the universe expands and evolves, so too does its capacity for consciousness. Stars are born, galaxies collide, and black holes dance, all contributing to a cosmic tapestry that ultimately gives rise to beings capable of contemplating their own existence. It's a humbling and awe-inspiring thought that our own consciousness is intimately connected to the grand cosmic drama unfolding over billions of years. As we've explored the intersection of consciousness and the cosmos, one thing has become abundantly clear. We are standing at the precipice of a profound paradigm shift in our understanding of reality. The idea that consciousness is a cosmic force, intricately woven into the fabric of the universe, challenges our most fundamental assumptions about who we are and our place in the grand scheme of things. While much remains unknown, the potential implications of this hypothesis are staggering. It suggests that we are not isolated beings trapped in a meaningless universe, but rather active participants in a cosmic dance of consciousness that has been unfolding for billions of years. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the mind and the cosmos, we may well discover that consciousness is the key to unlocking some of the universe's deepest secrets, leading us to a more holistic and interconnected understanding of our place in the grand tapestry of existence. What do you think? Please drop a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe for more engaging content.